Hey, what's up guys, welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. In today's video, I will be teaching you how to use the extent, the music extension. So, first things first, we have the play instrument, or like, you have a choice of multiple instruments. I'm going to stick with snare drum for amount of beats. You can put an input here, or maybe we can put tempo in here. Let's see our tempo, it's 60. Let's set tempo to something else, like 70. You have multiple choices of instruments, but I won't be showing all of them. I'll show the triangle, the guiro. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Why we shot? So that's basically what the play drum does. You can make an orchestra sort of thing with this. Why do I have my variable on? Where's my variable on? Okay, so next we have the rest. Four beats. So what this does is it stops your music for the amount of beats you want to stop for and then it continues. But this is too short, so I'm going to set it for like two beats. But that was too long, so I'm going to stick to one beat. Yeah, that's pretty good. So that uh, what that does is it waits for, uh, or in the musical terms, rests for your input or number amount of beats. So let's throw the, these away. Next, we have the play note. Play note, etc. For... Etc. Seconds. So these are basically play note number for number seconds. So you can set your instrument to whatever instrument you want. I am still on piano for some reason. Let me get to synth pad and you can choose your note you want to play. You can go back all the way to the beginning. Or all the way to the end. You can choose whichever note you want. Wait, let me see if I can play something with this. Oh no, it's not big enough. Okay, I had something in mind. That's not going to work unless we can try something. So I'll set up a code and I will be back. Okay, so I have um, the theme th song for um, House MD, so I hope this is accurate. I didn't test it yet, so let's go. Okay, that's pretty accurate. I have to admit, that's pretty accurate. Let's, let's see if we can improve this, so I will be back. Okay, guys, so I have a pretty good script here. Um, so we have two choices, piano or synth pad. So let's hear piano first. And start. Pretty good. Okay, so the ending isn't pretty, uh, that solid, but I think it'll do. So let's try synth pad now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the beginning tempo for these to 1. Let me see. And 
Hazır. So let's try this again. By the way, guys, the only reason I could actually do this was because I was I can play piano. But if I couldn't play piano, this would be super hard. Wow, this is causing a lot of lag. I should probably put this under my box, but I am not doing that. I don't know why. So anyway, guys, next we have this set tempo to actually I have an announcement to make before this. Um, I know how to play the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. theme on piano. So, if you ever want me to do a tutorial on how to play the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. team in Scratch, um, because, well, tragically, the, C the show actually ended. Unfortunately, there won't be any more seasons. I watched the last episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 7 last night, so, as a memorial, if you want me to teach you how to play the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. team on Scratch with the music blocks, definitely tell me. So, next we have the set tempo, too and change tempo by. So these ones are basically you set your tempo or change. These are basically you set your tempo to your input or, or change your tempo by your input. So, you know, actually, let me give you a cool fact. In Scratch 2, this tempo used to be in the sound category with the volume, but they changed that into the music category. So let's turn our tempo on. So we can set our tempo to 60, change our tempo by 20, and let's see what that does. Let's change it by even more, 20. 500 max. Let's set tempo to zero. Ah, uh, can only go down to 20. As you can see, there are differences in the sound. So, you know, um, if you want, you can watch Professor Blue's video on how to make um, a no lag perfect platformer. Um, and if you want that, uh, the reason I'm recommending you, you this video is because mm, the video was made in Scratch 2. And he, for one of them, he used the volume and tempo. And tempo's color was actually a light pink or magenta like this. So that's my proof. That is my proof that. It actually used to be in the sound category. Definitely check out Professor Blue's channel too. He has some amazing scratch tutorials there. But anyway guys, that's going to be the end of this video. And wow, I am lagging a lot. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see y'all next time. This has been Scratch Tutorials. Peace. Oh, and wait. No, 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 no. Don't log off. Don't log off. Um, I have an activity for you. Um, if you play piano or if you know how to play any instrument... Try to make something like I did in the in this video, like the you know the house team thing I made. Um, do something like that on Scratch, and definitely link, give me the link for your project. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Scratch Tutorials, and peace. And for this time, it's real.